Hi, my name is Cedric Pulliam. Thomas Ariel. I was in the Army for almost 25 years. Joelle Banjo Johnson. Sheikha Sharma Gilmore. Military service can be very tough on a family. I really struggled with attaching myself with individuals because we move so much. If you can imagine, you know, maybe the butterflies of the anxiety that a kid feels on the first day of school, imagine taking that and now multiplying it and having that same feeling every two years. I'm a caregiver now for my husband. I help in his day-to-day -day activities um, and support him in recovering from PTSD and his physical ailments. You have to maintain a certain level of bravery and courage and just get through it. But the benefits of all of that, if I think about it long term, was just the resiliency. Military life really teaches you how to step it up and be a better person. My wife has helped me through a lot. Um, deployments, uh, injuries, losing battle buddies, um, transferring to civilian life, um, just learning to be uh, a better father, a better husband. Because of you, I was able to study abroad and continue in my career to work on eradicate some of the world's top viruses and diseases. Because of you, I was able to get the education that I always wanted. Because of you, it's allowing Izzy to achieve her dream to be a meteorologist. Because of you, I can show my children that they can succeed at any point in their life. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I say your name. I you solemnly swear. You swear. Support and defend. Support and the Constitution of the United States. The United States. Against, all Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And to bear true faith. And, true faith. and allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. I will obey. I will obey. The orders of. The, orders of the, President of the United States. The President of the United States. And the orders of. And the orders of those officers, those officers appointed over me, appointed over me according, to regulations, according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. We celebrate Veterans Day on the anniversary of the armistice that ended World War I, the armistice that began on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. The timing of this holiday is quite deliberate in terms of historical fact, but somehow it always seems quite fitting to me that this day comes deep in autumn when the colors are muted and the days seem to invite contemplation. It is, in a way, an odd thing to honor those who died in defense of our country, in defense of us, in wars far away. The imagination plays a trick. We see these soldiers in our mind as old and wise, but most of them were boys when they died, and they gave up two lives, the one they were living and the one they would have lived. 
When they died, they gave up their chance to be husbands and fathers and grandfathers. They gave up their chance to be revered old men. They gave up everything for our country, for us. And all we can do is remember. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. In memory of those who gave the last full measure of devotion, may our efforts to achieve lasting peace gain strength. Let us make a vow to our dead. Let us show them by our actions that we understand what they died for. Strengthened by their courage, heartened by their value, and born by their memory, let us continue to stand for the ideals for which they lived and died. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. We shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty. Amen. Yeah. 